And now... Breaking news. Can you hide the news? News. 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 From, the from the news. 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 News from the Weird Wire. The Call of the Wild. I think most people know this. Most dogs today, including Chihuahuas, still carry wolf DNA. A new study conducted by researchers from the American Museum of Natural History and the Smithsonian Natural, National Museum of Natural History. <laughs> Do we need... Can they just combine into one big one? <laughs> it found nearly two-thirds of modern breed dogs have wolf ancestry. Modern dogs, especially pet dogs, can seem uh, so removed from wolves, which are often demonized, says the study's lead author, Audre Lynn. There are some characteristics that may have uh, come from wolves that we have greatly, val- greatly value in dogs today and that we choose to keep in their lineage. Study is about dogs, but in a lot of ways, it's telling us about wolves. Prior to this study, the leading science individuals seem to suggest that in order for a dog to be a dog, there can't be very much wolf DNA present, if any. But we found if you look very closely in modern dog genomes, wolf is there. This suggests that dog genomes can tolerate wolf DNA up to an unknown level and still remain the dogs we know and love today. As you might expect, larger working dogs such as Arctic sled dogs and hunting dogs have the most wolf ancestry, perhaps a bit more than the tiny chihuahua contains about 0.2% wolf ancestry. They have the attitude of a wolf, some of them. Well, they got tooed, yes. <laughs> uh, well, and sometimes the reason they follow you to the bathroom is that's what your pack does. It's just FOMO. Mm-hmm. Don't want to miss anything. Well, that and... So, like, when they're a pack, like a wolf pack, I've watched some YouTube videos on this. Stunned. And they go to the bathroom... It's like, well, that's why your dog looks around when he goes to the bathroom. Like, is anybody looking out for me? That's my most vulnerable time to be attacked. So in these packs, they don't, they would all go at separate times. There'd be some watching. (laughs) Why is it that I am most alarmed by the fact that you're watching this video that I'm guessing was at least a half an hour long? Of wolves doing their business, well, and you were well, watching it. But it was wolf behaviors, so there's all, there's other stuff in there too. But that that's what got me right away. Is so, new dogs go in the bathroom. Say, hey, I'm looking out. If you're out there, waiting, say I got I got your back. Go ahead. I appreciate it. Uh. And so this story comes from Florida, as there was a coyote spotted hanging out on the second floor ledge of a, three, of a parking structure. So it was a parking garage. Coyote was up there. Me, being here from northern Minnesota, we don't even have a parking garage here, do we? No. In Bemidji, no. <laughs> they so, actually had this story on Thursday. I didn't recognize it right away, but yeah. So uh, these writers were off. The other writers were working, and these writers stole the other writer's story. <laughs> so they spotted him. He jumped over the barrier and safely left the property. Fort Myers PD says in a Facebook post. But I'm not expecting that to happen in Fort Myers. However, have you ever been in a parking garage? Of course. What did you see? Any uh, animals like a bird in there? Don't recall. They definitely go into them if there's bad weather. And yes, there's birds in there. And you know what? I'm sure they have squirrels in Florida. So I I have a feeling that he followed some birds in there. Or a squirrel. or Or was running away from the alligator. 
Could be. So for me, it wasn't. I wasn't like. It's not surprising. It's on the ledge of the second floor. Yeah, it's surprising. He's just looking. He's like, wow, there's birds hanging out up here. This could be easy fruit. And he realized not so much. But he got them all fired up. Fort Myers did. <laughs> They're not like the coyotes up here. We have big coyotes. Saw a picture of this one. It was plenty big. Huh? Well, we already read the story about the shortest living male horse. Friday. That, my friends, is news from the Weird Wire.